They called him the peanut man. He was one of the most brilliant and influential scientists in American history. A genius who created hundreds of products from peanuts and sweet potatoes and changed the economy of the South forever. This is George Washington Carver, born into slavery around 1864 in Diamond, Missouri. When he was an infant, slave raiders kidnapped him, his mother, and his sister. Only baby George was ever recovered and returned to his enslavers. George's passion for learning took him to Iowa State Agricultural College, where he became the first black student and later the first black faculty member. At Tuskegee Institute, he changed agriculture forever. He taught farmers to rotate crops, peanuts, sweet potatoes, soybeans, to restore life to soil destroyed by cotton. That idea revived the land rescued farmers from bankruptcy, and helped rebuild the southern economy after the Civil War. Then he found hundreds of uses for those crops, from peanuts, oils, cosmetics, plastics, paints, soaps, fuel, from sweet potatoes, flour, vinegar, starch, molasses, dyes, and glues, over 300 peanut products, and 118 from sweet potatoes. He patented few, believing knowledge should be shared to uplift others. George wasn't driven by wealth. He called his work a calling from God services that measure success. He advised President Roosevelt, wrote to Gandhi, and testified before Congress. In 1940, he donated his life savings, about $60,000, the equivalent of $1.4 million today, to create the George Washington Carver Foundation. He died in 1943, buried beside Booker T. Washington. Congress declared that on January 5th is honored as George Washington Carver Day. He turned soil into science and gave his genius to the world. Say his name, share his story, George Washington Carver.